Now let us answer some questions based on the fiction. The professor knew too much. How did he prove himself? These are some of the instances which are asked in the questions. First is about muzzle velocity. When instructor was telling that the muzzle velocity is 2000 feet per second, then he interrupted the instructor and said it is 2440 feet per second. Next is after a 30 mile walk, when everyone was tired after 30 mile walk, he asked his batchmates about singing a song. His salute on payday. His salute is the best salute. Whenever there were officers inside, he would swing his skinny arms and march to the canteen like a guardsman. The loud sound of a high-flying invisible aeroplane. When everybody else was not able to see the plane, he was the one who said instantly that, of course, it is a North American hardware trainer about hand grenades when the instructor was telling about the outside of the grenade that is how the outside of grenade is being divided is being fragmented into different divisions that he interrupted him by saying that these fragments are 44 in total number during cook house duties he, he did not stop even in the kitchen he shows off his knowledge he shows his start exhibiting his knowledge even in the within the four walls of the cook house he was criticizing the cooks for the abominably unscientific and unhygienic method of peeling potatoes according to him it was a sure waste of the vitamin values of the potatoes based on our reading of the story let us answer some questions private quelch was nicknamed professor because of his appearance because of his knowledge his habit of reading or his habit of sermonizing is of course because of his habit of sermonizing. Sermonizing means preaching, means exhibiting. So he was in habit of showing knowledge. So the answer would be answer number four. Next is one could hammer nails into corporal turnbull without his noticing it because he was a strong and sturdy man. He was oblivious to his surroundings. He was a brave corporal. He was used to it because because he was a strong and sturdy man as we have discussed in the fiction that he was a tough man he was the hero of all the soldiers so the answer will be option number one he was a strong and sturdy man the author and his friend Trover fled from the scene as they had to catch a train they could not stand private quelch exhibiting his knowledge they felt they would have to lend a helping hand they did not want to meet the cooks. Author and his friend Strover, they are, the author is asking about the question when the author and Trover were near the window of the kitchen. At that time, they saw that professor was exhibiting his knowledge even in the kitchen. So they could not stand private quilt exhibiting his knowledge. So the answer would be option number two. Next question is, what is a nickname? Can you suggest another one for private quelch? A nickname is a name that may be given to somebody in addition to the person's actual name. Yes, the name could be Mr. Knowledgeable, Mr. Show Off, and many more. Next question is, private quelch looked like a professor when the author first met him at the training depot. Why? Because he was a serious, lanky, a snoop, stooping man who frowned through horn rimmed spectacles and thus he was named as professor. What is the dark sun dried appearance of the sergeant suggest about him? This dark and sun dried appearance of the sergeant tells that he has dedicated his whole youth serving the army. His ribbons reflected the valor and gallantry. Moving on to the next question. How was private quelch knowledge exposed even further as the surgeon's class went on? When instructor and when surgeon was telling about the muzzle velocity, he said that the muzzle velocity or the speed with which a bullet leaves the rifle is 2440 feet per second. Next question is, what did the professor mean by intelligent reading? Professor, when anybody asked if he had taken training, then his standard answer was, it's all a matter of intelligent reading. He mean that it is about the thorough detail and the precise study of each topic. 
next question is what were the professor's ambitions in the army he wanted to get promotion his first step was to get a stripe next is did private quilts day to day practices take him closer towards his goal how can you make out no of course not he because of him his instructors always felt offended and irritated and this can be proved from the fact that corporal turnbull punished him a shameful punishment next question is describe corporal turnbull corporal turnbull was a tough man he was a tough man he was a serious man and he cannot be trifled with he was a hero of the soldier and one more thing was that it was believed that one could hammer nails into him and the fellow would not even wince next question is how did private quelch manage to anger the corporal when corporal was telling how the outside of the grenade is being divided into different fragments at that time professor interrupted the instructor he said that perfect number the exact number is 44 and not only this he said that corporal should start his lecture with a uh, with telling the characteristics of the grenade next is do you think private quelch learned a lesson when he was chosen for cook house duties give reason for your answer no of course he was he has not learned a lesson because we can say that some thick heads are too thick to ch- to change because when he was in the kitchen he starts exhibiting his knowledge even there also so this term this phrase can be used for him that some thick heads are too thick to change i hope the answers are clear to you